So this video is all about uh, the TouchWiz 4.0 review for Samsung Galaxy S2. Um, this device is basically the flagship for Samsung at the moment. So I'm going to review how it's uh, different compared to the earlier version of it on the Galaxy S1. Um, I have both these devices in uh, side by side comparison. So this is the Galaxy S1 and this is the Galaxy S2. So uh, I'm going to start with uh, showing you how uh, the customization is done under um, TouchWiz 4.0. So uh, starting with, um, I'm going to remove some of the current widgets from uh, the current dashboard. Okay, so uh, if you compare to Galaxy S, uh, uh, when we used to click uh, a long click on uh, the older version of TouchWiz 3.0, uh, what we had to do is select one of the widgets and uh, there was a complete list of widgets coming in and we had to just select one of them uh, at a time. So if I want to add multiple widgets, that was not possible. In TouchWiz 4.0, what they did was if you hold down um, your UI for maybe one or two seconds you get this options of shortcuts wallpapers folders and widgets right at the bottom so if I select widgets I get a whole list of uh, different widgets available for me to add it to the dashboard for quick access of information so I'm going to right away add uh, maybe one or two widgets um, just to show you how it works so I'm going to add a add a in gadget widget which updates itself maybe in five minutes and I'm gonna add uh, uh, maybe um, a pulse uh, widget for my convenience uh, just to show you how it all works and if I do a back it's gonna update the UI automatically and this becomes part of my dashboard so the customization has been improved dramatically in uh, TouchQuiz 4.0 and if you see uh, the control screen uh, of your applications, um, it's quite different from uh, the existing one on Galaxy S1. So the Galaxy S2 has a cyclic effect on, uh, on the applications. You don't actually have to go back once going forward. So it becomes a deadlock and this becomes cyclic automatically. So it's a lot easier to access your applications uh, using TouchWiz 3.0. Also, I'm going to show you some uh, some of the cool widgets that, that uh, they are bundled with the application firmware. Um, this uh, widget called AP Mobile. This is a global news information aggregator. It brings out all the information right to your home screen. Um, then we have, uh, let me turn on the Wi-Fi. real quick okay so I have um, the Wi-Fi turned on so that I can start getting some of the data so that you guys can see how it all works um, I have some of the widgets uh, one of these are the Yahoo Finance in bookmarking um, then we have uh, the power control from Samsung Galaxy S2. This is a very intuitive widget overall because it actually gives you power to control or toggle your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS. Uh, you can also uh, change the settings for your brightness for the screen because this is an amyloid plus screen. It has really vibrant colors overall. Uh, but obviously it sucks up a lot of your power so just to have your preventive strategy for longer lasting smartphone it's a uh, highly recommended to have it on a auto configuration okay so uh, this power control also gives you options for uh, timing out your screen locks and stuff like that so that's really intuitive on Samsung side also we have a widget from um, Yahoo where you can just access your uh, camera right away and uh, make videos and upload them right to your YouTube so uh, the camera resolution for this device is impeccable 
uh, not comparable to any of the smartphones in the market. It's an 8 megapixel. Um, then we have a Twitter widget. Uh, one of the bigger widgets from uh, AP Mobile and uh, some intuitive, um, unique uh, technology based uh, widget from Pulse. Uh, this is an application I'm going to review separately. So um, let's go ahead and see what else we have. Um, okay, you can see the, uh, the in gadget uh, news coming up automatically right from the blog. So this widget strategy for Android has been successful and that is where it has an edge on the iPhone 4 which is more of an icon based UI. So uh, I'm going to write a separate review for different applications running over Samsung Galaxy S2. Also I'm going to introduce how the changes for the camera controls and all that came in and how they have actually improved the whole experience for their flagship phone. So stay tuned for more information.